Hi, Patricia. How are you? Oh, you cannot hear me. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Patricia. How are you today? Fine, ready to exercise. <laughs> ready. <laughs> Excellent. You just came from the gym? No, here in my home. Oh, in your house. That's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Perfect. After each class, I do exercise. Oh, About nice. About 45, 45 minutes. That's perfect. Thanks. I wish I had that energy, you know. Maybe later. I've been since I've been sick, I feel like oh I want to sleep all the time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's see here. Well, I think it's only you. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Miss. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? That's fine, teacher. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Thank you. We're just going to see if we have other person here. We are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. So I have the topic that we're going to cover today. Like I said, we're going to do speaking, right? And the topic that we're going to cover right for today is aging this is going to be our topic right let me see aging i'm going <laughs> right do you know what is the meaning of this word aging no teacher i don't no? know Okay, no worries, no worries. At the end of the class, you will say, ah, that's aging, right? I'm going to put here two pictures so you can understand a little bit more of aging. Well, three pictures, actually. Okay. I know what is aging. Aging, yes. It's aging. our stage of life. Look at this. I will go yeah. from this. Right, we go from here. Is the natural process of the human. <laughs> natural process of human from here to here, right? Okay, very well, very well. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to start here with aging. Hi, Asusana, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Turn off my camera. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you so much for being here. We totally appreciate it. Now we're gonna start here with one phrase, right? That I want you to practice, right? This is the word or the phrase, find out. Find out, find out, right? What is the meaning of find out? It's to get information, to discover, to learn, right? That's the meaning of find out. Sylvia, can you please repeat? Find out. Find out. Okay, very good. Find out, excellent. So I'm gonna make one sentence here with find out, right? I'm trying to find out how life works. Look at my example here. I am trying to find out how life works. So I'm trying to find out 
you know, to get in different to get information to discover more information about life. Right. This is my example. I'm using the phrase "find out." Can you tell me one example with this phrase "find out"? Uh -huh. example yes i'm trying to find out the meaning of the life okay i'm trying to find out meaning of life very good sylvia okay patricia susana <clears throat> cody hi cody uh -huh. when we search about uh um uh -huh. The sick and the healthy um, uh, diet. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Very good, Patricia. Hi, good evening. We're making examples using the word find out. Give me this. Hi, Elizabeth. What could be another example? Oh, look at my example. I'm trying to find out how life works. Sylvia mentioned um, that she's trying to find out the meaning of life, which is actually pretty cool. Right? What about you guys? Maybe I'm trying to find how uh, grammar uh, <laughs> grammar work in English. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to find out how grammar works in English. Perfect. Cody says I want to find out how speaking English, how to speak English very well how to speak english very well very good cody with a lot of practice that's that's all i can tell you <laughs> with a lot of practice that's the only way okay perfect so we have this word right this is just for you to remember that we have different phrases in english right that uh we use right that we definitely use and that they help us to work now I have some questions. Today we're gonna base our class to start with, right, with questions. So our topic is aging. That's the topic for today, aging, right? So for aging, right, I have a few questions to show you, right? Look at my questions here, right? I have a few questions. And I want you to pick up one of the questions, right? This is to start with. Oops. Questions, right? We have question number one, right? Do you like being the age at which you now are, right? Number two, what is the best age to be and why? Number three, what is the worst age to be and why? Number four, do you worry about getting older? Number five, do you look your age? Number six, do you think scientists can slow the aging process? Number seven, why do some people seem to age faster than others? Number eight, until what age would you like to live? Right, number nine, are there any age groups you currently don't like? And number 10, what is the best age at which to get married? All of these questions are, we are find out to improve our spelling, right? Our spelling, yes. <laughs> Perfect, Patricia. Now we have these questions, right? 10 questions right now. And we have like three, six, almost 10 people here. I want you to pick up one question and try to give the answer to that. Uh -huh. I'm going to pick up mine. Uh, mine is going to be number five. 
give me a number 10. <laughs> number 10, okay. <laughs> very good, very good. I think I'm going to pick up number two. Number two, perfect, perfect. Remember your numbers. I, I want, the number, I want the number one. Number seven, number one, okay, Gracina. I want the number three. Three, okay, Elizabeth. Guti? I want to number eight. Eight, Cori and Veronica. <coughs> Uh-huh. Teacher, we have to answer that question. Yes, think about the answer first, mm. right? I will start. Do you look your age? Hmm. Do I look 35 years old to you? <laughs> I am 35. So many people say that I look 35, right? Some students say that I do not look 35, so sometimes at the university, right? They believe that I'm their classmate, but I'm not their classmate, I'm their teacher, right? <laughs> so I may not look all the look, time. Mm -hmm. No, you look uh, for 27. 27, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Resina. One extra point. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, but yeah, people say that I do not look 35 years old, right? So I will say that I, I did not look my age, right? Sometimes it's, it's, it's something bad, right? Mostly when I'm in classes with students, right? That maybe they are older and they say, huh, who's this teacher? No, we don't want this teacher. She's too young, right? But then when they see the classes, they believe otherwise. Right, okay, so I gave my answer, right? So let's start with number one. Or who is ready? We don't have to be in order. We can just give any answers here. Uh -huh. Patricia? Um, I can't say. Well, uh -huh. the, the question is, do you like being the age at which you now are? Uh -huh. My answer is, Yes, I love the age uh, uh, I am now because I think I got an experience in uh, in the life. Mm -hmm. I um, well, first of all, I am fifty five years old, <laughs> okay. and I am very happy. I am healthy. I am um, completed, mm -hmm. okay. but I. I only needed to speak English very well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my, my best dreams is uh, uh, travel around the world. To travel around the world. That's perfect, <laughs> Patricia. Yeah, English will be very helpful then. <laughs> very good. Yeah. Excellent. So we have question number one. It's been answered. <clears throat> That's perfect. What about the others? Uh huh. Number 10. Archimedes. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Uh, antes, uh, before my answer, how do you say madurar? Uh, it depends to grow, to grow oh. older. Well, okay, grow older. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. To get very married in our country, uh -huh. we have to get uh, grow older because uh -huh. uh, you need to get a goal in your life. For uh -huh. example, how many uh, childs do you? How in your family, mm -hmm. if you want uh, a house, cars, uh, do you want a degree and your uh, wife need a degree or you only need your wife is a uh, 
Uh, ama de casa es housewife. Uh, housewife. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, if you want a stable house, you need to grow older because uh, you have to get married at, for example, I think uh, the man will be 33 years old mm -hmm. and uh, wife maybe uh, 30 because mm -hmm. you have to know about all about her and all uh, you have to to know each other you know you need uh, comprehension you need uh, uh, uh a other thing that uh, this complement in your in your uh, life in your life uh-huh okay very good uh-huh okay. that's it that's it 30 and 33 hmm i can marry at 25 i guess <laughs> yeah yes i can marry at 25 almost 10 years now Okay, perfect. <laughs> Who's next? Very good. Thank you, Archimedes. Uh huh. Who's next? Let's let's see. Let's speak. Me, teacher. Okay, Azucena. Okay, question number two says, "What is the best age to be and why?" Mm -hmm. And well, I think um, for me, it's not a an a specific age uh, that I consider is the best to be. Um, because uh, in my case, uh, I feel so happy uh -huh. with the, the age I am, actually. Okay. And, and I think that the sense of the light um, is not... Um, it not depends um, uh, how do you look how, how you look mm -hmm. uh, it depends um, how you feel um, and and I feel um, happy because I mm -hmm. I have lived all the stages of my life step by step um i'm, I'm cons i consider i'm not a normal person um i i don't feel like that actually <laughs> i don't feel like that uh, i'm um, 30 30 36 years mm -hmm. old okay um, and um, uh, I'm married, I finished my career, I'm a mother, a happy mother, and also um, I'm just waiting to my second baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yes. Um, so I feel good. I feel um, uh, grateful from God because I, I have a beautiful family and I think um, that is so important that you um, can, that you find out the, the sense of the life. Okay, perfect, Susana, that's a beautiful answer, right? So you're expecting your second baby, right? Yes, I'm Ex expecting my second baby. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it, it, um, it's going to be a girl. <laughs> oh, baby girl, nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, Azucenita. Okay. <laughs> um, her name is Belen. 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 Oh, you see? Mm -hmm. Azucen. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. So congratulations for that, right? Thank you. Having kids is actually a very big responsibility, I believe. Yes. So. I don't have any, that's why. <laughs> really? You don't no. have? No. No, because oh. they, for me, they are a big, a big, big responsibility. 
And sometimes I forget to eat myself. So imagine Oh my that. God. <laughs> Maybe you can start with a, with a pet. <laughs> yeah. I, I just started with two pets. Yes, with two dots. The two beautiful okay. dots. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Susana, for your response. Right, it was pretty good. Now, who's next? Mm -hmm. Gracina. Okay, uh, the number three, what is the worst age to be and why? Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, the worst age is when you, uh, uh, you are old mm -hmm. because uh, you need more help and you need someone to help you, you don't, you can, uh, mm -hmm. can do the, the things that uh, for, for, I don't know, uh, how do you say, uh, when, uh, alone, you don't have, uh, you can do the things alone, and you need more more help and your family stay uh, together or pendiente i don't know how to say um you we go say pending or we can say uh paying attention to okay pay attention mm -hmm. to. and then i i i think that is uh is very difficult and I have from mother and, and I I see that is very special uh, more when uh, she has um, when, uh, enfermedades se me ha ido el nombre se me ha ido la sickness diseases ajá uh -huh. yes illness and it's very difficult because you need more more help every day yes yeah. ah, that's one of the uh, ages that i would agree yes it's one of what is this one of the worst ages to be but also to be a teenager don't you think to be a teenager <laughs> yeah it's horrible you know i'm going to be <laughs> honest with you i am a teacher right I love teaching kids. I love teaching adults like you, right? Uh, students at the university as well. But I hate teaching teenagers. Oh my God, no, it's horrible. Because yes, teenagers, you're like, okay guys, let's do something. Uh, okay guys, we're gonna, uh, oh my God. Teenagers, it's, it's, it's a horrible horrible you age you don't to understand me. and that you that uh, they uh, what they want, want yes <laughs> because they don't want anything they don't want they want they don't want anything but they want everything at the same time yes. yeah <laughs> i agree right so don't tell anybody but i hate teaching teenagers it's like no don't give me teenagers, please. Right? Okay. You can give me two years old, three years old, but not teenagers. Okay. Thank you, Gracina. Your answer was very accurate. Right? Now we have here, I'm putting here some vocabulary phrases, right? Words or phrases that we might not remember all the time, but that are very useful, right? Who else wants to answer? Sylvia, you have an answer? Yes. Mm -hmm. I choose the number seven. Seven. Uh huh. Go. It says, why do some people seem to age faster than others? I think that some people, uh, it seems uh, older than the others because of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have uh, vicious, mm -hmm. vicious and another people, make exercise and have a an style a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. i think that all kind all all 
all the stuff uh, have influence in in look older than the others, and and the for genetics mm -hmm. that is a element to to have influence in in look older or look um, young. Um, I don't know. I think that if you make exercise and you have healthy food and you eat healthy food and if you uh, try to to have uh, the preoccupations, uh, um, the worries is the mm -hmm. worries the worries uh, yes the worries uh under control you look young but it depends if you if you can con, con if you have control in your in your mood mood mm -hmm. that have influence and to look older or young or younger that, that's why that's why some people think to age faster than the others. Agree. Lifestyle, addictions, right? Not doing exercise that actually affects directly to the way you look, right? Not eating good, yeah. right? Eating just chicharrones con tortillas, no, that's not good, right? <laughs> right. But it's, it's delicious, it's delicious, but totally. It's not healthy. <laughs> it's not okay very good Sylvia right so we have vicious addictions right oh, okay. addictions mm -hmm. okay, we have addictions you. well I think we all have addictions different type of addictions either good or bad addictions but still they are right thank you Sylvia now who thank else you. who else wants to participate before we move to the second part second part of the okay. class okay go ahead okay uh, my question is the number A. Mm -hmm. Until what age would you like to live? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, uh, I would like to live until um, good allows me to think for myself. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe uh, when I am 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and but and I will really die in accident that for any disease. <laughs> Not any other disease. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Just that. Just that. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yes. Uh, in the past, I used to say, I wish I could, I could live just 33 years old and then, right, die. But now, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. I am 23 years old. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god okay so we have elizabeth someone else no shall we continue okay i'm going to show you a video right this video is about the same topic of course right it's about age so i'm going to show you here dun, 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 oh my goodness let me just place it into another. Uh, there we are. Okay, here we are. What's the secret to long life? I think. Can you can you listen to the video? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, we're gonna listen right now to the principles of living longer, and after that, you tell me. Right, your thoughts about this. What's the secret to long life? I think one thing is prayer. Be active and live for others. Pero no soy un hombre peleador, que eso mata al hombre. Porque es peleador y le pegan diario, ya eso lo va arruinando. There are things you can do something about, and there are things you can't do anything about. There are the positive things and negative things. Leave all that negative stuff alone. 
We met some pretty incredible centenarians on our Blue Zone journey, each one with their own wisdom and advice for living long and healthy lives. Taken together, there's definitely some common themes and common sense. Call them longevity takeaways. You, you talk about these four principles, which I, which I love, because they, they make perfect sense. And I wanna, I wanna break them down for a second, but move naturally, eat wisely, belong, and connect with people. We, we also call that purpose. And uh, in Blue Zones, they, these people actually have terminology for it. Uh, in Okinawa, the word uh, is ikigai, the reason I wake up in the morning. Interestingly, they do, they do not even have a word for retirement, but they can articulate their sense of purpose. Finding that purpose may actually help keep you alive. As part of his new book, looking at how we can apply Blue Zone solutions to our own lives, Butner came across some startling statistics that show your chances of having a heart attack or dying can increase dramatically after you retire. So at middle age, to, to take the time to really get clear with what is my purpose and how can I put that to work? That's what's gonna get you out of the house in the morning. That's what's gonna keep you taking your meds. That's what's gonna keep your well-being and your, your zest for life. You're not saying that the purpose has to be something that's changing the world, but it could be a, a, a hobby or, I mean, just something that yeah. you're passionate about? The easiest mix and stir uh, way to live out your purpose is to volunteer. But we know volunteers have, tend to weigh less, uh, they tend to have lower rates of heart disease, and around the world, volunteers report higher levels of happiness or well-being than non-volunteers. Butner has taken what he's learned from the world's demographers and scientists and condensed it into an easy how-to list. He calls it the Power Nine. Number one on the list, move naturally. The world's longest lived people don't go to gyms. They move without thinking about it. Next, have that sense of purpose. Knowing what gets you out of bed in the morning can add up to seven years to your life. He also says to downshift. Find a way to shed the stress and make it part of your routine. Follow the 80% rule. In other words, don't stuff yourself. Stop eating when your stomach is 80% full. Plant slant. Eat less red meat and more plants. Wine at five. Share a glass with friends. Moderate drinkers outlive non-drinkers. Belong. Attending faith-based services can add years to your life. Put loved ones first. Invest in family time and reap the rewards. And finally, find your right tribe. Remember, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. Find ones that support healthy behaviors. These are time-tested principles about how to be healthy and they're so understandable to the layperson. The Blue Zone formula is now being tested on entire communities. So this is uh, Beach Cities. This is, this is a place that invited you to come to try and help them change how they do things here. Redondo Beach, or Mosa Beach and Manhattan Beach, about 125,000 people. And even though it looks healthy, they're no healthier than the rest of America. In fact, they're more stressed out, more worried than even Detroit and New Orleans after right? Hurricane Katrina. And by the way, what you're talking about is this, right? You see the beach, you see volleyball, but then you turn literally and go down these blocks and it's a different world you're saying down there. Right, four blocks in it looks like middle America when it comes to obesity rates and smoking rates. Here in the Beach Cities District, just south of Los Angeles, California, citizens and city officials are embracing the Blue Zone secrets and now exploring ways to make them work in their neighborhoods. If you want Okay, so we watch there, right? This is a project. It's called the Blue Sun, right? That's the project that will help you live longer, right? So now we're gonna make a small groups, right? In those groups, I need you to think about the the things that they mentioned in the video that will make you live longer. Do you agree with those? Do you remember the nine things that they mentioned in the video about living longer? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Mm, yes. Really, no. really not? Kind of? Not okay. all. Not all? Not okay. At all. I'm going to put them again. Just that, right? 
Just that part is the power nine, right? Listen to this. Scientists and condensed it into an easy how-to list. He calls it the power nine. Number one on the list, move naturally. The world's longest lived people don't go to gyms. They move without thinking about it. Move naturally, that's the first one. Next, have that sense of purpose. Knowing what gets you out of bed in the morning can add up to seven years to your life. He also says to downshift. Find a way to shed the stress and make it part of your routine. Follow the 80% rule. In other words, don't stuff yourself. Stop eating when your stomach is 80% full. Plant slant. Eat less red meat and more plants. Wine at five. Share a glass with friends. Moderate drinkers outlive non-drinkers. Belong. Attending faith-based services can add years to your life. Put loved ones first. Invest in family time and reap the rewards. And finally, find your right tribe. Remember, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. Find ones that support healthy behaviors. There you are, right? Listen to them, right? Now, based on those nine, uh, what, tips, right? Let's call them tips or steps that you should follow, right? Let's discuss them and let's see if you agree with them and why you agree with them or why you do not agree with them, right? Because sometimes you can just say, no, nah, I'm gonna eat until I'm full, 100%, not 80, <laughs> right? So let's see. Right, we're gonna make a small group. So we're gonna talk there for around five, seven minutes and then we come back, okay? Let me make these groups. Mm -mm. We're gonna go in groups of three, right? Let's go. Okay. Select your group. Ah, okay. Hello, Veronica and Racinia. Hello, Luis. Okay, what are we talking about? Living longer. Okay, about nine rules? Uh, Last. Wine at, wine at, at five. 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 Belong. Get the religion. To get religion. 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 Love religion. ones. What, love, love one's fears, fears and then our family. Like, I agree with and, with that. And right to that. Uh, to, uh, I don't. I don't. I try. <laughs> Friends that support right. healthy behaviors. Oh, okay. That's. I took. I, think, I took a screen. <laughs> I. I think that is. Uh, mm, uh, como issues that the they mention a uh, ikigai that is um, uh, like uh, um, uh, the form of life in the, um, of the Japanese, I think. Ikigai is from Japan. Yes, you are right. I I have. Um, listen to to this i don't know how to say theory i think is a theory uh, uh, the ikigai ikigai is, is, ikigai ikigai right yes. it is not a theory i think um that it's is a, a, like a life it, it's a true it's a scientific uh, oh thing. Ah, okay. I can. Well, uh, I add all of the of the principles. Oh, how do you pronounce this word? I think it's our principles, right? 
principles, yes? Principles. Because I broke the the 18, 80% rule. <laughs> oh, to go to the gym, for example, in and they they live as a sedentary life. Yes. Uh -huh. What do you think, Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Hello. Uh, no, I have a problem with my um, internet, but I'm here. Okay, uh, I consider that one of the things that may heal the hell is um, behind with my family, with the family, um, because is the important uh, the the family and friends and, and go bueno and go the the church for example in the other activities uh, for uh, um, uh, uh, the, for the share to other people um, in, and eat healthy, a vegetable, <laughs> and drink water. <laughs> okay. The second one is purpose. Purpose. And it says that it's important uh, to go out to the uh, go out of bed. I think that in in our country or in this culture culture uh, is not like in another countries because here uh, you always have something to do and the the time the movement the the lifestyle is um is faster and I think I don't know anybody to I don't know anybody who spend in spend the time in bed and or or only if have depression or or something like this. But in your country I think almost anybody uh, have two purposes for the day. I don't know if you are agree, guys. If you agree. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with, with, with to have, if uh, I'm agree with. I agree, uh-huh. With, with uh, things that you have to do out of bed. You don't have uh, people here. It's mm -hmm. not, I, I don't know how to you say. I, I think I spend time in bed. <laughs> uh, you have to work if you want to eat or if you want, if you want to pay bills. I think only when people have depression Mm -hmm. spend, uh, se queda dormido, spend time in bed. Okay. Yes, I, I agree with you. Um, I want to talk about the third one that is down shift that I understand that it means uh, how people can uh, manage their stress. For me, uh, it's um, too important how to manage 
your stress because as a consequence of uh, stress, you can suffer uh, many illnesses. And, and also, um, <coughs> sorry, and, and also stress um, makes you feel uh, bad, bad and sick and, and you live, um, uh, you live less, I think, because uh, for example, um, cancer, is a, a, a mortal uh, illness uh -huh. and, and it's a consequence of stress in your job or I don't know the, the activities that, that people uh, make, but especially uh, in your jobs, because I think um, unfortunately people nowadays, uh, oh, we, we don't know or, or we don't, we didn't learn how to manage our feelings. And for me, I think it's too important because your, your mental health is depends on, on, on this. I don't know how, uh, what do you think about it? Okay. Now, we're going to go with the others right now. We're going to finish here and then we're gonna share with the others, okay? Okay. okay, let's go. Downshift. Hi, Rosaluz. Hi, teacher. How are you? Ready to share? Um, Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. So, hello, hello, hello. So we're gonna share right now some information, right? For the nine hour steps from the blue zone, right? For you to live longer. Um, I'm gonna start with my opinion, right? With the step that I think I like the most is actually to spend time with your loved ones. Right, spend time with the people that you love. I believe that's totally important to spend time with uh, with the people that we love. If it's our family, it's better, right? Sometimes we work too much, right? We work too much and we spend time working and we don't give that special time to our uh, mom, our dad, our husband, our wife, right? Our pets. So I believe that spending time with the people that you love is one important thing for you to live longer, right? And I'm gonna start applying that to my life too, right? So that's my opinion, right? What about the others? I would like to start with the people that did not participate previously, right? And then with the others, is that okay? Okay, let's start with Cory. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay what what do you want uh, what do you want to hear uh whatever you all? yes what tell me uh, uh one of the steps that you liked or that you agree with uh okay let me see or the one that caught your attention uh -huh. i think i like um Love one first, mm -hmm. and I have a, a little uh, a few issues with my family, but I like this principle, and I like why not at five. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> this is water, okay? This is water. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we we were talking about. Um, how liquor do you, liquor liquor uh -huh. is liquor yeah liquor okay liquor and and Patricia told us that <laughs> that um, the wine with orange juice is really nice 
and I have never tried with that. I just want, I just like tequila and I don't like. <laughs> I oh don't my like God. Tequila. <laughs> I like wine. <laughs> yeah, wine is actually really good. Yeah, <laughs> delicious. I think that the wine is a little. It's a little bit hard. sweet. Hard. It's, it's hard. hard. <laughs> sweet and sour. <laughs> and for me, it's or sweet or sour. So the mm. wine, I like, but uh, not more than the tequila. <laughs> I. I I like to, um, I don't know how to say acompañarlo. To have a side? Mm -hmm. Side? Si. Have a side. Mm -hmm. You have okay. a side, for example, with wine, have you have a... usually cheese as a side. Yes. Okay. But the tequila, I have a side with lemon and lemon. salt. Lemon and <laughs> salt. Yes. <laughs> and meat. <laughs> and, and, uh, and a lot of a lot of snacks. <laughs> a lot of snacks. Uh, yes. <laughs> and we in we rock the, the principal plant is land. Oh, that's actually <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. And in the room that I was in. We have a conclusion that I really like the meat. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we broke this principle. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you can bring it to life, right? You can apply that principle. <laughs> Eating plants is actually good. I'm not vegetarian, but I love meat too. But yeah, I'm well. trying to eat less meat and more plants. Right, more vegetables, more fruits. More vegetables, mm -hmm. for example, yes. Vegetables are delicious. Oh, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. I just like the, the carrot and the potatoes. Mm -hmm. I just that. And tequila, okay. <laughs> ah, and tequila, yeah. <laughs> you prefer te tequila. <laughs> Don't forget the tequila, okay? <laughs> In my... And that, that's that, teacher. <laughs> okay. People say, or doctors say, uh, tell me if I'm, incorrect, uh, if I'm wrong, Patricia, when we actually mix tequila or vodka or rum with meat, it's actually very bad for our body. It if makes the legs. vodka made from potato is oh, the really? vegetarian fault. <laughs> ah, no, Elisa. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. Stop inventing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> very good. So we're gonna <laughs> now we're gonna listen to Veronica. Veronica, what do you talk about in your group? <laughs> uh, in this group, uh, we are talking about self love. It's very important to, to avoid falling into depression at that age. Uh, okay. Also to man, man, maintain oh, <laughs> maintain good health and share for peace. Yeah, that's totally correct, Veronica. I agree with you. Right, self love. Right, to love ourselves a little bit more every day. Right, that's actually difficult. It's not easy. It's not easy to love yourself. Right, but hopefully one day we will accomplish that. Very good, Veronica. El, let's see Adriana. Um, I I I stay in the in the same group of Corey. With Corey, so you talk about Corey. tequila. Oh mm. yes. <laughs> why I mean, why Adriana I am food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Rosa Luz also about tequila. No, Rosa Luz. What do you talk about? No, I... Mm -hmm. I did, I don't like the tequila. You don't like tequila, okay. No. Okay, personal, personal uh, preferences. <laughs> so what did you talk about in your group? Which which power step did you like the best? 
I didn't stay in in the in one group oh. because my connection is very unstable. Is, uh, yes. Okay, okay. No, don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. Let's listen to Patricia then. Right. What do you talk about in your group, Patricia? Thank you, Rosa Luz. Okay. Uh, in our group uh, with Corey and Adriana, we talk about the uh, that rules. Is, there are many very important. Uh, move nature is important. Move um, naturally. Mm -hmm. um, one of the um, think about uh, important too is. Uh, Love yours. Mm -hmm. and uh, the um, we talk about uh, two eight rule uh, because we have to eat less and uh, well less be less meat and more vegetables more more plants more vegetables. more plants. I am not a vegetarian. Um, I eat a lot of meat. I love meat. But I love all vegetables. Meat, Just a mixture. Uh, mm -hmm. You combine them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yes. cool. And, and we talk about the, the liquors. Um, Corey loves the tequila, Adriana loves the beer, and I love the wine. <laughs> the I love wine too. Tequila uh, is- Sweet wine, sweet wine, wine only. Uh, the sour wine, the sour wine, I don't like. I prefer mix, mixing with uh, orange juice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that, definitely. That's the okay. idea. <laughs> That's a good idea, yes. <laughs> Gracina, what do you talk about in your group? Um, mm -hmm. Yes, in our group um, with uh, Luis and Veronica, and we said that uh, the night point is necessary uh, for the long life. Uh, but uh, friends and family is very important. Mm -hmm. And maintain uh, with activity when you, you, you are older. And you need to pay activity and do exercise, walking, and I don't know, uh, uh, make uh, do the, the hobby. I don't know, and it's very, very important because if you stay in home, uh, at home and, and rebel and you can, mm, have depression mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. sometimes depression is is inevitable right but we try to 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 pick it up okay thank you gracina good job excellent for this group uh let's see silvia luis uh -huh. silvia uh-huh we we talk about more nature Move naturally, uh huh. Uh, we think that it's important uh, to be in movement or okay. to be um, to walk <laughs> to um, to to be in movement more than the more than that than everything because with the jobs, with um, worries, it's important uh, that the body uh, to be 
some kind of uh, exercise or to waste some energy to, mm -hmm. to get uh, health. To be and, healthier. Uh -huh. To be healthier. And we talk about purposes mm -hmm. and we talk about um, when you open your eyes, uh, it's important to think uh, about uh, the things that you have to do if you are employer or if you are a mom or if you are a student, you have to go to school or you have to go uh, to the work. And, and I talk about, in I think in, in this country, Mm -hmm. People doesn't stay in the bed. People always have to go out to the bed because if you want to eat, if you want to pay bills, you have to go out to the bed. I think that that kind of things happen in another country with another culture, with another way to think. Or maybe if you are sick, or if you are, if you have uh, some some illness mm -hmm. like depression, like depression, yeah, that may happen, right? People that have depression sometimes they can, they just can't go out, right? They just stay in their house, right? Now after the pandemic, I think we have more more mental health issues than before right yeah very good sylvia very good everyone so today has been a very very uh what enrichful day a lot of opinions right all the opinions are valid remember that because they are personal so they are valid right and we have worked with the topic aging right so now we know what aging means right and now we have we know some steps to live longer. Hopefully we can apply them into our life, right? So besides that, Cori, don't drink too much tequila, right? But Camino Tecoluca, you can find Chaparro, right? <laughs> okay, teacher. Very good Chaparro. Right? I was trying to need to tell about I tried with Chaparro, okay? <laughs> Chaparro with I to eat more plants. <laughs> Chaparro with eyes, yes. You go just to Tecoluca and you you, you <laughs> see right. the, the chaparro over there. <laughs> okay. So, guys, it's been a pleasure to be with you tonight. I will see you tomorrow. We we'll continue with our second class of speaking by tomorrow. Okay? Okay. okay teacher. Thank good you. Night. Have a beautiful good night. Good night, night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Cody. Have a good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> night, night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. <laughs> okay, bye.